All right. So one of the one of the, the, there's the tax side of this, mm -hmm. and I think we're seeing some erosion on that, and we're going to sort of d d dive deeper into the taxes tomorrow. But then there's this there's the the cut side. Okay, the, the sequester is in place right now that was previously agreed to. It's going to be 1.2 uh, trillion in cuts, and the idea is to replace that with other cuts because the cuts that have been agreed to are so such a blunt instrument. Okay. I want to focus on the Medicare portion because I have to say the consensus right now in Washington, and I was cheered to see the president's opening bid, but the consensus in Washington is that we got to come up with a grand bargain, dot, dot, dot. we got to do something about entitlements. This is, the, this is the big thing, something about entitlements. And I just don't understand why that's the case. And the reason I don't understand why the case is um, the big problem is the rate of growth of health care costs. I think we could all agree on that, right? Yep. Now, Medicare, uh, the rate of growth in Medicare is significantly lower than the rate of growth of healthcare costs in the private sector. So it's doing a better job of controlling costs relative to the private sector. Then we just passed a huge bill that was incredibly contentious, which is called the Affordable Care Act, the vast majority of the legislative language of which is about controlling costs in healthcare over the future. And so it seems to me like the reasonable thing to do is to wait four years, five years, implement the bill, and see if the cost control measures that have been put in place fought about tooth and nail, not like, you know, smuggled in the cover night, like hugely, hugely controversial, whether those cost containment methods work. And then, you know, we can all sit at this table five years from now, and I don't understand why this isn't just the, the opening position of Democrats, and as someone who's on the Hill, um, shouldn't that be the opening position? Well, I... I... Yes. <laughs> Thank <guess> you. So. <laughs> well said. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I want to back it up for just a minute, if I could, and uh, go back to where we started with the, uh, 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 talking about the, what the president's put on the table. I think what we're looking at here now is a president that's been reelected. Uh, he's newly empowered. He, the, the Republican minority has been saying for several weeks now, why won't the president stand up and lead? We right. need the president to lead. Right, well, right. he stood up, right. he's put the proposal on the table, and what do they say now? Basically, they say, well, tell us how you're going to compromise with right. us before, <laughs> right. We, right. before we engage with you, which, unfortunately, I think... Has been, he, has been some has of the done, precedent has in the done past. in the early, yeah. Getting back to, to your original question, I think, frankly, it has to do the same thing as to why we're debating uh, maintaining historically low estate taxes. It's money. Right. Um, there is absolutely yep. no uh, reason in terms of the budget to be even talking about uh, Social Security. Right. And in terms of, uh, of Medicare, you're, it's, a, it's the exact same thing. I'm sure there are, are cuts that can be made in terms of efficiencies, uh, we, uh, particularly when it comes to pharmaceuticals. Uh, there's a lot of savings there. I mean, you have, um, we have the, the donut, uh, excuse me, the um, the prescription D, uh, the Medicare D, right. where we are not negotiating uh, uh, for volume discounts with pharmaceutical industries. Uh, same thing in other parts of Medicare. So there's a lot of savings to be there, I, uh, close to 300 billion, I right. think, uh, 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 over 10 years. But the, the the real bottom line is, is, I think those people who want to attack Social Security want this money to end up in uh, on Wall Street. And, and there's an extremely well-funded group of people. Of we'll talk about fix the debt. We'll play the fix the debt, Adam. We'll talk about some of the interest behind that right if we take a break.